Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanachuk. I have started an exam series in which I will be sharing important topics chapter wise from the subject oral surgery. In this video, I will be sharing with you important topics that have been asked in previous year examination in various universities from the chapter Local Anesthesia in Oral Surgery. So let's get started. So you can be asked to define local anesthesia, local anesthetic agents, general anesthesia, analgesia, infiltration, field block and nerve block. Then you can be asked to write about mode of action or theories of mode of action of LA. Especially you can be asked about specific receptor theory. Then you can be asked about indications, contraindications, advantages, disadvantages of local anesthesia. Then you can be asked to write about local and systemic complications with their management associated with local anesthesia. Then you can be asked sometimes to write about causes of failure of local anesthesia in general practice. Then there can be a question to write about ideal requirements or properties of LA agent, classification of LA agent, content or composition of LA agent with role of each constituent, toxicity of LA solution or there can be a short note to write about lignocaine hydrochloride or xylocaine local anesthesia. Then enumerate local blocks used in dentistry define pain, theories of pain conduction, describe conduction of impulse across a nerve, various techniques of LA administration can be asked, block anesthesia, techniques for mandibular nerve block, inferior alveolar nerve block, a very important and commonly asked question is inferior alveolar nerve block. In this you have to write about areas anesthetized, landmarks, technique, indication and complication. In all the important blocks, you should at least know these basic things, which area is anesthetized, what are the landmarks, what is the technique, what are the indications and complications. Another important block that can be asked is posterior superior alveolar nerve block, then infraorbital nerve block. All the blocks that you'll use on the patient, you should know them thoroughly because they will be asked in theory examination as well as in practical examination, the blocks will be asked. Then mental nerve block, specially indication and technique, go gates technique, echinose mandibular nerve block, lingual nerve anesthesia, technique as well as subjective and objective methods of testing effectiveness of this block or any other block, LA technique for extraction of mandibular molar, then periodontal ligament injection. Then you can be asked to write about boundaries of pterygomandibular space, anatomy of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve, nerve supply of upper first molar or actually any tooth nerve supply can be asked. So you should know nerve supply of all teeth. Components of needle and syringe, causes of locked jaw, needle stick injury. Then there can be a question on trismus or post extraction trismus. Syncope is another common question, especially you should know its management and pathophysiology. You can be asked how will you deal with a case of anaphylactic shock or a patient with syncope at chair side. Then how will you prevent and manage a case of hematoma following injection. So these were the important questions that are asked from the chapter local anesthesia and oral surgery. I will upload important topics from other chapters of oral surgery as well. You can check that on my channel. And if you want to see more such videos, do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you.